Okay. Now I'm going to share my screen. Just a sec. Yeah. Okay. You can you can you can see my screen, right? Yes, I can see it. Okay, perfect. So, well, um, thanks for joining me uh, today in this Zoom. Um, seems several have been able to enter the platform. Um, We're going to review some points, especially how to make playlists or videos and how to use the drawing tools. It is a very friendly platform, but a little bit of help is always good, right? Um, well, um, what you see in your front page as soon as you log in is your Insta account. Um, here you have uh, the button to, to change the language. This is your profile. You'll find here your videos, your playlists you create, the tags, um, the, the episodes you share with someone else, the videos you upload, um, and your players, right? Um, here, here we have a, a cloud, right? This button is to um, to upload the videos. So you click here to select the sport, in this case, soccer, then the gender, boys or girls, then you select the match. Um, for example, okay, the today, then we have here the home team. We put the, the home team, then the away team. And down here, we have the box score. Here you can click in there and you can attach any, any PDF, Word, um, or even a link for the box score. And in this area, we have uh, the video area. We can drag and drop the files, the video files, or we just can click and a window will uh, open in order to enter the files we want, right? So, um, okay. Then we have here, sorry, this is the, the search bar. Here we can find, uh, find any, any team you want, for example, let's say Jacksonville, Jacksonville. And we automatically see all the different um, teams with the Jacksonville name, right? So you can find here the Jacksonville C0203 ACNL, the or ADCNL, the MLS Next as well, and everything. In this case, uh, we're going to use the Jacksonville FC 06 MLS Next and, and in order to, to make um, the presentation, okay? So the first thing that we see here is the overview tab, okay? <laughs> that has uh, the more important statistics and general stuff on the team. First of all, you must know that everything here is clickable, okay? Everything here, uh, such as the blue numbers, uh, the dots, the crosses, the buttons, um, and that will lead us to the respective uh, playlist of the video of the actions. So, Starting from left to right, we encounter the average statistic of the current season. Here we can um, compare previous season by clicking here and compare opening teams as well. Then we have the video clip uh, section. Um, okay. We have the, here the video clip section. Um, it is divided into attack and in defense. Uh -huh. And also we can change to see from the last three matches, five matches, 10 matches, or we can select the match 
the match we want by clicking here on advanced selection of matches. You select the season you want to, to search, uh, filter uh, the opposite team, for example. Um, and here we have the match again, Chargers SC. And we select it and click OK. And we can watch the videos, um, the more important videos of that match in that in this part. Also, by clicking on the gear, in the upper left corner of the table, you can see episode durations and select a specific durations of each type. By default, it's six seconds after and six seconds before, but you can change that as well. OK, then we have the player section. Uh, you can see all the players that belong to the team. And you can click on their names and it will transfer you to the player page in order to see a specific statistic of a specific player. Down here, we have um, the matches uh, section. In here, we can see all of the games that the team has played. We are able to watch the game itself um, by clicking here, the full match, the ball in play, without interruptions, the highlights, uh, the most important events of the match, and the goal scored. Uh, also, we can uh, download hit that um, in PDF by clicking here. And next to it, we will find um, the match button. We, we will be able to see tactics and lineups. And then by clicking uh, on the fill icon, which is the match profile, we will see tactics, lineups, and more statistics for that specific uh, match. Also, by clicking on the gray area here, we'll pop out um, more videos just for that specific match, okay? Well, then let's move on to the matches tab. In this matches tab, um, by default, uh, you can see the current season. And once again, you can change, you can change that by clicking here. Sometimes it's a bit overwhelming to have a, a lot of data. So fortunately, the tables are customizable. So you can select the data you need and nothing more. So how do we do that? Easy. We click on the gear and all the yellow parameters are the ones that are shown there in that table. So for example, if we don't want to watch, um, for example, challenges, okay, we just unclick it and then shots. I don't want to see the parameter shots on my table and they will disappear but lost ball, for example. Then I click OK, and the table will be um, customized. But we can create our own table by clicking here in the plus icon, Add Table. Here, OK. Let's say we want to, to, to see the, the, the statistic for, for goals um for key passes um for air challenges and for penalties okay so then i click okay and here is my table with my parameters and statistic for that those um those specific parameters i want to see so i can change the name let's say um the table <laughs> or just new, <laughs> and you can also download this in Excel, in PDF, move this table up or down, or even if you don't want to, you want to work more with this table, you can delete it by clicking on the X. Then we move to the player stop. This is basically very similar to the matches tab. 
we have um, here um, the number of the games. Here we have the total button. And uh, for example, here we can show the photo if we have uh, the photo of the player. Um, then here is the same. We can download this in Excel or PDF, create our own table um, with the parameters we want to follow, just that parameters. Again, clicking on the gear, deselect or select, then OK. And we can create or customize this, um, this table. Now, the Gold Keepers tab is practically the same, um, although the work is different. So the calculation is different, but the, the principle is um, exactly the same. Then we move on to shots. Um, sorry. Then we move on to shots and we can see here um, the, sh the shots in the chart, okay? They are represented with different marks. Shots on target with a point, um, shots blocked with a cross, and the goals with a G. Uh, you can click on any of these marks and we'll see the video right away. For example, let's click on a shot, shot on target here. And we can watch the video of that specific action. Now, um, down there here, we can uh, select, for example, the specific sound, like for example, on your penalty box. We want to watch uh, the videos of, um, of this song. You click here and the video will, yes, will appear. Yes. Okay, now we can um, also change this. We, we have now the spots on field, but we can change it to spots in goal. This is when we want to see where the goals were made, where they usually made the shots. And of course, you can watch the video of these stats as well. Um, then, um, for example, uh, we can change the duration of the episode by clicking on the gear again. Six seconds before and six seconds after is um, is by default, but you can change that. And here you have uh, more filtering options, so you can um, select the specific moment or the specific player uh, you want to follow. You want to you want to study, right? Here we have uh, the taka type shots and the players. And here we have the videos. Then let's move on to set pieces crosses. Okay, this next part is very similar to shots, but you're going to see all the primary pieces, um, the free kicks and the corners. It looks a little bit messy, but for example, um, you can see the free kicks, you can see the direction of uh, the crosses, where they come from, where it's directed to, whether if it ends in shots or not, point of cro or crosses. Um, each of those, you can see a preview as well. For example, click and we can watch the video. Yes, and shot. So, um, for example, um, we have here down the zone of the destination. You can see how many of the shots were directed to this, uh, to each zone. You can see separately uh, the destination of spot, but I think um, that the direction of crosses um, is more useful because they show you both. How do we change that? By clicking here. We can watch the 
this bottom field, okay? Then we can watch the destination of the spots and the mix, the direction of crosses. Um, <clears throat> now, well, in, and here we have uh, the filtering options. So you can uh, watch the specific, uh, in a specific player and a specific match. Uh, here you can, can, can change um, can change the match uh, from the last three matches, five, 10 matches, or the match you want by clicking on advanced selection of matches. Let's move on to compare, uh, to the compare tab. Okay, this tab will allow you to compare different teams from different seasons and also several teams at the same time from different leagues as well. Um, you can select also more parameters, add or remove, uh, download an Excel and PDF. And in the gear, we have the parameters. And for example, we want to compare um, Jacksonville FC 06 uh, against um, Jacksonville, let's say, one of the girls. Okay. Um, three or four is CNL, let's say. And here we have the comparison of uh, these two teams with the parameters and everything. Remember, every blue number is clickable. So if I want to check this 1.43, just click and we are on the playlist with the videos. Okay, let's move on to the episode search. So as you can see here, we have a different filtering options here. Um, most of them have a black arrow that will give you more options. Also, we can select uh, the player who made the action. And for example, a player and okay. The dots means uh, where the, the play started and which way they went when you select this. Um, for example, these as well are clickable. You can watch the videos. And for example, uh, you can select the song, divide the field into three, six, nine, 12, 14, 18 um, parts. So uh, you can study that specific part um, more accurately. For example, let's um, select the number 10 and by clicking here, in this button, we can watch the 10 episodes that occur um, in that specific area. Also, we can change the match period if we want to see the actions from the last uh, for 45 minutes. We can change it. And you can see. And we are going to watch here. For example, this area was selected. We have one action and we can watch that action by clicking here. You can also um, customize the seconds before and seconds, uh, seconds after each video and change the color, the transparency as you want. Okay. Now let's move on to a player page, which you will see that is very similar to the team profile page. Okay, so here we have uh, um, the general information about the player, um, the, the position where they play, 
the statistics, um, some skills um, that um, some videos of the skills the player uh, um, have. <laughs> then we have here the similar players. And down the matches will, where, um, in which he has participated, right? Then we have the match, the top matches. Um, it is the same as the as a team profile. We have the shots, same principle. We have different feature options because we are we already uh, select a player. We have uh, the skills. Here we, we can see um, in the career data, see his performance in different types of competition. Now here in similar players, we will uh, see a list of, um, of players that, um, that are similar to Tyler Richardson, for example. We can change that. We can change um, the parameters we want to see there by clicking on the gear, you know. Um, then we have a compare um, tab. And here it is the same. And I find it very useful because you can uh, compare the performance of the player. Uh, for example, this season versus the previous season. Uh, we don't have a previous season, but uh, that's basically the idea. Also, you can compare it with another player from the same team. Uh, let's say Jose Perry. Okay. Yes. And we have the comparison here. It's very useful. We can download this in PDF and Excel and we can change the parameters as well. And the episode search is the same um, for the players as well. Now, let's move on to something more um, useful because some of you will want to, to create playlists or create some videos from the video. And uh, we'll want to share these videos with, uh, I don't know, and a scout, a familiar, another friend, another parent, and we will uh, see this immediately. Okay, let's go to the highlights, just to, in order to select a video. Okay, first of all, we, um, what we want to edit a video, it's very, we create first our own playlist, okay? So we will click on the black square here. Then we will click on the plus icon and we will uh, give a name to our playlist. Jacksonville 06, create. There we have our um, playlist, our, yeah, our folder. So let's say I want to, to make a, a, a playlist with, um, okay, this video. I want a video from another, just a sec. Okay, I want a video from another match, so just go out from there. Let's say I want uh, the video from Jacksonville against AMG. Okay, I want a ball in play. So I enter here, found the video I want. Let's say I want this, then I drag and drop it again, and that's it. As you can add as many videos as you want. Then I enter to my folder. And we have uh, our own version 
to the videos. So this, these videos, we can um, edit them the way we want, okay? For example, um, let's say I want to record, um, I want to grab some, and a specific part of that, um, of this video. We will click on here, save episode. It's like recording from your phone, just click and we start the recording. The moment you want to stop, just click on the red square and stop. We select uh, the folder. We want to, to add that specific short period of the video which is, well, Jacksonville Oasis, Oasis um, in this case. And yes, oh, I'm sorry, created, okay. And we have here our, our specific part. Okay. Okay, let's go from here. Oh, just a second, sorry. Let's say we will, we want to change the borders. We can make it uh, by clicking here on change borders. We want to make it shorter, or larger. This is for tagging, um, and this is this button. Okay, let's move on back. Um, Okay, oh, just a sec. Okay. I re entered my folder. Okay. Now, in order to, to edit the video, create uh, some specific indications, draw inside the, the video, we click on here and add picture. We click there, add picture. And we have two options. We have the, the um, static option and the dynamic option. Now the static option give us the opportunity to, to make um, directions in this, um, this is static, like the name um, explains, a static picture. So, for example, I want to to mark um, that that should be an air pass. So I select here air pass, click the player, and then I drag the arrow, drag whenever wherever. I want, okay? Let's say I want uh, the pass here. Then I leave it there and that's it. You can change the color as well. Um, oh, doesn't want to. Oh, just a sec. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, we can change the color, okay. And yeah, so let's say I want to mark a ground pass. We select here, everything have a, have a name, so you can identify um, the, the tool. In this case, we are going to use the ground pass button. So uh, click again, drag it to the place we want to, to the place we want to, then, okay. And we have it. Let's say I want to highlight a song. Um, we select the highlight song button, click. We do a click. This is a um, left click. 
let's click and in order to set it there uh right click up okay and here is the right click so uh -huh. here you can watch it and the video continues so let's say oh my sorry you're done okay just a sec we're going we're going okay here are the indications and we are going to use now the dynamic um the dynamic um buttons so for example i want to follow this player here okay or let's say this player um for example we are going to highlight the player select the highlight player button we click there then we uh, click on next frame by default is now on 0 0.4 seconds but you can change it to by clicking here to 0 0.1 uh, second or one second so um let's do it with 0.8 seconds okay so for next frame we really click uh, here next frame and the player has moved then we adjust the shadow the next frame again adjust the shadow next frame adjust shadow next frame and i lost it okay no here i adjust the shadow so we can watch a preview as well oh yes also you can add uh, text if you want click on the t for text click and you can say um pass to the left let's say just click okay let's watch it all okay indications indications okay and it well <laughs> and the text <laughs> it was to 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 short time okay <clears throat> just sec well here we can uh, select um the font the color i want blue the font size as well look big very little and the transparency as you can see, we can put uh, just the letters or or a white square with the transparency. I personally prefer the transparency on zero percent. Then we uh, when we finish to to um, to add the the specific drawings and indications uh, that we want, we always have to remember to save it. So click save. And as we can see here, this blue square uh, indicates that we are already um, finished the edit of that video. So now I want to share this with, with my colleagues, with the scout, um, with the parent, with the familiar, with whoever you want. 
we click here, share playlist. And then he went near the other hip, but luckily it's not an abrasion. I mean, well, I saw an abrasion. Bruised. I mean, I'm talking about the entire skin is gone. And okay, thank you. <laughs> so um, we click here and share a playlist again, and we enter the email I want to to to, to send that specific uh, playlist I created. So let's say. I want, I'm going to send it to myself, my personal email. So, ah, oh, I'm here. <laughs> well, so this person will be able to watch it. If it's not uh, inside Instat, we'll be able to watch it five times only, okay? Just five times. In those five times, that person um, can download the videos, no problem, but um, won't be able to watch it uh, for a sixth time. So, title video, uh, be Jacksonville. Then we can add a comment. Uh, here is uh, it's my playlist. And then we hit send, and the playlist is going to be shared with the persons you want to um, you want to watch uh, you want <laughs> to watch the the videos. <laughs> so it's processing the file took a little bit of time, depending on the internet connection. Right now, my internet connection is a little bit uh, slow. Apologies for that. Well, that's the idea. Okay. Keep loading. Okay, so let's say you want to, you already shared the playlist and you want to download the videos. Um, on that specific um, on that specific place, okay, or the playlist you have created. It's the same process for each of each playlist. I'm sorry. Okay. So oh yes, it is shared. So um. You want to download all episodes. So click here, download all episodes, and you will have to select uh, the format you want. Could be uh, with lower um, with lower format or a higher format, HD or, or lower. And well, that's it. That's basically it. Uh, then, um, um, now uh, you already have a, a little more of a knowledge about uh, the features of the platform and you will get to know it more as, uh, as you play with it, as you create your, your videos, um, put the uh, just indications as, as, as I did and you will you will feel more comfortable with the platform um, each time. So um, well, that will be that will be all. Um, I don't know if you have a, a question or or something yeah. you want to ask. Mm -hmm. I, I've got a. It, this is more of a specific question for my son. Uh, mm -hmm. You actually displayed him, Tyler Richardson. Um, yeah. <laughs> So uh, we've been having trouble seeing the games pop up mm -hmm. on his profile. And I, I think I realized the issue is you guys have him attached to the 06 MLS next team. And he's actually an 05 player. Oh, okay. So uh, well, I, we can, I can see the games if I search him, if I just search the team. Uh-huh. 
but I can't get any of the videos uh, because I, his account isn't linked to the 05. Is there, is there any way you guys can fix yes, that of for him? Yes, um, Giordano here will uh, change it in a couple of minutes. Um, everything will be all right. So uh, when you um, try to watch the videos, uh, what happened exactly? So um, if, if I go to his account, his mm -hmm. 06 account, mm -hmm. I can watch the videos, but there's only, um, there's some 2020 videos and there's only two uh, 2021 videos mm -hmm. um, listed on his 06 account. Now, if I search his, if I'm on, like if I search the team, there's more recent games on his 05, I guess his 05 profile. Mm -hmm. Okay. But when I click to watch the video, it's asking me to pay. To, yeah, because you, know. you are not linked to to the to the yeah. team. Yeah, no problem. Okay. We are we're going to we're going to change that. Thank you that. for letting me know that. Awesome, so, I appreciate it. <laughs> anytime you can contact me at any time or to me or Giordano. Um, we are more than available for you to help and also. There is a thing when um, your browser um, gets um, to full with Kache and cookies, you will click on full match or a video and will send you back to the um, main page. I don't know if some of you have uh, this trouble, this issue before. But uh, the, the thing we have, uh, the thing we do to, to solve that in order to, to let you watch again the videos is uh, just try clearing the kachea cookies of your browser. So uh, you press Control, then Shift, then Delete. I think in, um, in Apple, in Mac, in Mac is Control, Command, or Command, Shift, Delete. Yes, Command, because Control is for Command, okay. In, up, in Mac is Command Shift Delete, and then you select. Ah, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Okay. In Apple, yeah. Okay. Mac is Command Shift Delete, and for normal, <laughs> it's Control Shift Delete, and you will have that specific um, um page. So. You click here, browsing the log cookies cache, but none of that because you will um, erase your password and other sign data. We, we do just don't want that. And then we click on clear data and we solve that problem and we are able to watch again the videos. And that is just in case that happens because it usually, usually um, um, generates a lot of issues, but yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. that will be everything. I don't know if someone else has another question. I have a quick question, and it's similar to what Scott just asked. And, and there's a lot of old games that are in there that maybe don't even have, that weren't fully vetted out and stuff. Will those be removed out of the account? And then similar to Mark, I mean, similar to Scott, my son, Mark Romano, still shows mm -hmm. that he's connected to the 06, and we have a couple other players on the team that say 06, but I can see the games, but I don't know that the data is is linked up to Mark. Okay, you, uh, okay, Mark is linked to the right team? Well, it says on his profile that he's part of the 06 team, but mm -hmm. unlike Scott, I can actually see the 05 games. You can't see the 05, 06? Oh, five games. Okay, you can. Okay, I'm going to check it with all the um, all the team, and we're going to make a review of every axis. And we are well. In a couple of days, I'm going to inform this to Coach Tommy and Coach Morgan to let them know uh, everything is now good and and running. Um, you let me know, please, and whenever you have that problems, 
and so we can solve it and you can enjoy the platform and the videos right away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so should we text you or email you the info or send it to Tommy? Yeah, because there's yeah, a few you other players. There's a few other players on our team, like uh, Gordon Whitcomb, I think, mm -hmm. and Adrian Williams. Let's say they're part of the 2016, but they're not. They're the 2005. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. You can send me the an email directly to me. No worries. Um, and we are going to check that. Yes, we're going to check the. The rosters, yeah, it's basically the problem are the rosters, maybe because of the change of the year. And well, yeah, that will be all, I think, right? Yes, another question now? Well, you were such a great audience. Thank you for having me a lot of patience and um, see you bye 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 thanks for your time <laughs>